We begin with those signs of progress in negotiations as the United Auto Workers strike hits day 21. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now this afternoon, General Motors presented its sixth counter offer to the union. We don't know the details of this current offer yet, but previous offers from GM included a 20% pay raise, an accelerated path to top wage tiers, and Juneteenth as a paid holiday, among other things. We are expecting to learn more from union president Sean Fain when he addresses union members in a live stream scheduled for tomorrow at 2 p.m. As the days pass, the ripple effects of the strike are only growing larger, especially for auto suppliers. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney is speaking to auto workers who are hopeful the strike will come to an end soon. Even on a rainy day. Wake up, everybody. It's time for the greed to stop with these corporations. UAW members are standing strong on what they believe. Well, we just want to be restored from what we were in 08, right? So. You know, the chickens have come to roost. It's, it's time to restore us. I mean, it's not like we're acting to give us something, you know, that's new. Just restore us. As workers mark another day on the picket lines, they're hopeful for what's ahead. This after General Motors presented its sixth counteroffer in contract talks with the union. While neither the union or GM have revealed what's inside that offer, GM has called it compelling. In a statement, the automaker says they believe this offer would reward workers and allow GM to succeed and thrive into the future. I'm feeling confident that we're going to get what we, what, we, what, we, what we deserve. But at the end of the day, I always remember this. Mary Barra makes $111,000 a day, but yet I'm out here in the rain. But as each day passes and the two sides continue going back and forth, the fallout for other auto workers is only getting worse. We are seeing almost 30% of our supply base has initiated some form of layoff. Um, so while it's not their entire organization, they have started that process. Julie Frame is the president of MEMA, an association that represents 1,000 auto suppliers. After surveying half of their association base this week, Frame says many suppliers who were already under financial stress following the pandemic are now deploying contingency plans as the strike continues. Their balance sheets are very different today than they were, say, in 2019, uh, the last time a strike occurred. So they don't have the financial fortitude to sustain a long strike. It's just a different situation than it was four years ago. Tomorrow, we're expecting to hear from UAW President Sean Fain on the status of contract talks. We're also hoping to hear more details on what's been included in that GM offer. That's at 2 p.m. tomorrow on the UAW Facebook page. Reporting here in Pontiac, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Okay, Whitney, thank you. And we'll have continued updates on strike negotiations and the impact on the big three automakers on air and at WXYZ.com.